GPUs are pretty hard to come by nowadays, and even if you do come by one, it's usually at an incredibly unreasonable price. So playing PC VR is slightly difficult, and according to AMD, this isn't ending anytime soon, specifically sometime in the second half of 2022. But what if you managed to get your hands on a VR-ready PC, or you already had one, and you have multiple VR headsets? What is up everyone, today we're pushing PC VR gaming to its limits by playing PC VR with multiple VR headsets on one PC on one GPU. Yes, you heard me. I know people did this before. People used different instances of, say, the Oculus software and Steam VR in order to play on a HTC Vive and a Rift S. That wasn't good enough for me. Linus made a video on this using multiple GPUs. That's cheating. So what if I were to tell you that I'm running two instances of Windows on one PC? Let's get right into the video. So this was actually recommended as a video idea in the comments section. I was recommended to run multiple VMs and try multiple VR headsets off of one PC. I'm not entirely sure what that commenter thought I was going to do, but I like to take things up a few notches from what I'm actually supposed to do. If I were to use VMs, we wouldn't have proper GPU acceleration, especially if I use something like VirtualBox. The virtual machine wouldn't actually recognize that it's running on an AMD RX 5700 XT. And if I were to run completely virtualized virtual machines using something like Unraid or Linux, well, then I'd probably need multiple GPUs. But we're running two instances of Windows, two completely different instances of Windows on a single PC on a single GPU. To do this, we're using something called multi-seat software. This specific one that I'm using is called Aster. It allows me to allocate monitors, keyboards, and device to a separate instance of Windows which means that we should have full GPU acceleration running on both these Windows instances and be able to play VR. Now, originally I was gonna try this with two VR headsets, but now I wanna push it to four. So let's see how far we can go. Okay, so I managed to get everything set up. As you can see, this is all still the same PC. I've just plugged the keyboard in over here instead the second one which is right here and now we are running the oculus software on here with the virtual desktop this is on the what i'm gonna call the secondary user and then over here we can also run oculus oh or not oh is this gonna end up just like virtual desktop where i cannot run two instances of virtual desktop at the same time i'm gonna fix this after getting absolutely everything installed, I called up my mom and told her, hey, you wanna play some Beat Saber while I play some Robo Recall? After connecting up the two headsets we were going to use, which was one Oculus Quest 2 and the Pimax 8KX, the Pimax was simply there because I wanted to stress it as much as I possibly could, it was time for the moment of truth. And it worked no problem. Now, however, what didn't work no problem is this footage. I want to deeply apologize for the light ring. I don't know what I thought leaving that thing on and letting it reflect into my screen. While editing this, I had to painfully watch it go from what I thought was going to be quite watchable footage to something that is actually annoying me. Now, why did I choose Beat Saber? Simply for the reason that my mom pretty much only plays Beat Saber and I wanted to play two things at the same time, you know, to show you guys how well this actually works. I was able to play Robo Recall on a Pimax 8KX when my mom played Beat Saber, and she said she only had one little bit of lag, one little hiccup. Other than that, it actually ran perfectly fine. I had no issues at all. Now, I was not running at the full 8K resolution, so don't take it as, wow, this graphics card is so amazing. No, 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 I was running at a much lower resolution in order to be able to run at 144 hertz, but that is incredible. I didn't get to push it to four headsets. I I uh, ran out of USB bandwidth and couldn't connect the Rift S. <laughs> but as you can see, we have perfectly working. Now, it wasn't a walk in the park and I might make a tutorial on this sometime in the future. But as you can see, we are fully running Steam here and we are also fully running Steam here. Same with Steam VR. I do actually show you guys during the video that my mom is using Steam VR. I'm using Steam VR on the Pimax because Robo Recall is an Oculus game. So we need to use something called Revive for that. I mean, I am impressed to say the least. Like seriously, this is another interesting thing that happens from time to time. It just launches Steam VR on both the PCs. It's very weird. So we've proved it to be possible. We've proved it works. How practical is it? 
Well, actually, I'm going to say incredibly practical. If you have two VR headsets and a PC capable of running those two VR headsets, I'm going to go ahead and say that this actually runs really well. Watching me play Robo Recall on the big screen and my mom play Beat Saber, you can see that it runs really nice and smooth. Setting up Aster is incredibly simple. You just launch the software onto your PC and select which display is which computer, and then drag your mouse, keyboard, and other peripherals to the little column of the computer you want it to be connected to. Then once you're done with that, you go back over to the main tab, choose how exactly you want Aster to launch, whether you want to have it start up automatically at startup, or whether you have to do it manually by going into the software and click apply. Very simple. Now, I know people are going to ask about this. The specs of my PC are 32 gigs of RAM, we're going to get 3200 megahertz, an RX 5700 XT, and the 8 gigabyte overclocked one, and a Ryzen 5 3600X. As you can see, my PC isn't even that overpowered, and I was able to give two people the joy of PC VR instead just one. And they both had a perfectly acceptable, perfectly fun experience, except for the fact that they were playing it in this tiny room and they hit each other quite a few times. I'm sorry, mom. But it does work. And it is quite incredible. And I believe that if you had more displays, well, you could run more virtual computers. And I'm not calling them virtual machines because I think that would be selling it short. And I wonder how many headsets you'd be able to pull then. The Oculus software is the interesting one here because I don't know how many Oculus headsets that are wired, like for example Rift S's, you could actually run. Because while the Oculus service is enough for virtual desktop to run in the background, I believe the Rift S would actually need the software to run on every instance, which doesn't entirely work. But with things like ALVR, which I didn't try, I should actually try ALVR, I'll probably try it and let you guys know because I'm running out of time for this video. With things like ALVR, virtual desktop, you could probably run quite a few Oculus Quest headsets sets on your PC. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Fun little experiment. Again, we did it not for a reason. We don't need a reason to do something. There's a comment on, on the channel that showed up yesterday that I agree with more than anything, and I need to find it now. As Cave Johnson said, science isn't about why, it's about why not. There you guys go. Why not? If we can, we're going to run two PC VR headsets off of one PC, off of one GPU, off of one CPU, not necessarily through a virtual machine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, make sure to join our Discord down below, make sure to join our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300%, and merch that doesn't put a huge adding body. I would also like to say a huge massive thank you to all the Patreons. You help me produce these videos and help me continue making them better all the time. And if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.